In this video, I'm gonna show you how to master one of the most difficult coverages to run in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also wanna let you know that if you've not picked up my new Nickel Normal defense, uh, I'm gonna be breaking down a video today out of the Nickel Normal and a play that is only found in two playbooks, the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys playbook. And it's honestly the play that has taken me a ton of time and lab work to master but I'm pretty excited to share this with you because um, if you run it correctly and you do your job the right way, um, this, this defense right here can be one of the most effective defenses that you have in Madden 22. Now, that being said, I'm going to teach you how to run it here in just a second. We go a little bit more in depth in our ebook. So if you want to get my full ebook on this, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for my Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access and unlimited access to every ebook that I have released so far in Madden 22 and every ebook that I will continue to release while your sub, uh, subscription is active. So for just 10 bucks a month, you're going to get access, instant access to over 13 uh, Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now that being said, we're going to talk today about the cover three buzz match. This is only found in two formations in this game, nickel normal and nickel wide nine. And we're going to show you how you how I uh, would recommend running this against the Gun Bunch Verticals. It's going to stop the best play in Madden. By far this year, the best play is Verticals from Bunch. It's the hardest play to stop, and we're going to show you how to stop it in this video. And I'm going to talk about some of the problems with this coverage and really how to fix it. So, uh, Verticals is what we're going to talk about. I'm going to cover three buzz match. And uh, I'm just going to snap the ball and show you kind of the basic concept here so if you take a look at my play art on defense what we want to have happen is we want this safety on the left side to uh, basically match onto that crosser and take it man to man so if you watch the ball or if i snap the ball here and watch you see here he does a really good job of that now one of the really cool parts about cover three buzz match this year is cover three does a really good job in match coverage it just doesn't get burned as bad as match like cover four palms for example um, so for example let me just show you i'm going to audible to cover four palms we're going to run this crossing route out of verticals and uh, what you're going to see is because i have a slotomatic ability on chris godwin um, if i if i have a good pass lead there i have a good chance at hitting that on the sideline for a pretty big game okay so Cover three buzz max kind of are fixed to that in some ways. Um, it's also really good against a lot of the concepts against Gun Bunch. But uh, we're going to talk today specifically about this verticals play. I'm going to show you one little uh, secret that the best players in the world know uh, to be able to burn uh, the cover three match. And that's here's here's what they're going to do. So um, what you're going to get is you're going to get this right here. You're going to get an out route to the running back, and you're going to get an in route to this outside receiver, and more than likely you're going to get a block tight end. What's going to happen is these underneath routes are going to kind of tr are typically going to pull this hook curl defender down just like that right there. And then as you, as you can see now, I've got a lot of room uh, to be able to throw this crosser. So let me jump into instant replay and talk you through this. Notice this hook curl defender and watch who he goes to guard. At this point right here, he should be guarding the crosser. But because this guy jams him, Okay, now he's thinking, oh, I need to come down here and either guard this running back route, or in this case, as you can see, I need to guard this in route. Okay, we don't want him to guard that route. That's pointless for our defense. So how do we stop that? There's a lot of things that you could do. There's a lot of experimenting that you could do. One of the things I will say that does help is if you put your D tackle in a QB spy and you put your other D tackle in a, bu a bluff blitz, the reason that will help from time to time is what you're going to notice is now you've got a three rec hook defender. So you got some underneath help on this play. And uh, sometimes this does help As You see here, I'm still able to hit this for, you know, 35, 40 yards uh, over the top. So how do we really get this, uh, get this done? Well, the way that we get this done is we actually are going to have kind of an interesting little interaction between the both of the hook curls. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to force that other hook curl into taking the deep if we as the user take the shallow route. Now, uh, just for uh, kicks and giggles here, I just want to show one other thing about this. That's if I just run this base verticals play, just don't put it in right out there. I want you to watch how this play is going to work. You're going to see that pretty much nine times out of ten, that hook curl is going to match onto him 
perfectly. It's going to be an interception, and there's really nothing you have to worry about. So it's really whenever they put that circle receiver on the in route. Um, occasionally, if I have this running back on an in route, it'll do something. But for the most part, as you see right there, even with the running back on an in route, it's really not going to affect this very much. It's really whenever they put the circle receiver on the in route. So you see here, this is the route combination I've got. I want you to watch that hook curl on the left side of that safety. You're going to see with that running back route, he's not. He's going to pass him off perfectly, and then he's going to go back and guard that. That's exactly what we want to have happen. But what you're going to notice now is whenever I put that in route to the circle receiver, it really doesn't matter what I put Fournette on. Um, you're going to see right here, he's going to get sucked down just like he did right there. He gets caught in no man's land, and I can hit that crosser for 30, 45, 50 yards. So insert the fix or the solution. Here's your solution. What we're going to do with this is we are going to uh, bring this guy down. We're going to bring him down kind of right in the middle here as if we were usering him. And then we're going to actually click off down to Duggar, this linebacker right here. And what we're going to do is, i got a couple different options, but what I like to do with Duggar is essentially at the snap of the ball, I am going to run down at the center and get as low as I possibly can so the AI assumes that I am responsible for the underneath drag route, okay? So I'm going to hold left trigger right here. At the snap of the ball, I'm going to come down in here and try to get underneath this. And that was a very terrible example. Let me show you that again. I'm trying to get underneath that circle route. That's really my primary goal. I'm not really concerned with the running back, okay? I'm really not. The biggest thing that I'm concerned with, and you don't even have to move this guy down, the biggest thing that I am concerned with is the circle receiver. So I'm just staying low right in here. And now notice, notice that. Now that's about as perfect as you can get. Let me show you this in instant replay. This is what makes this so, so important. So if you take a look here, what you're going to see uh, on the defensive side of the ball, watch this interaction. Watch my user. I hold my holding left trigger and I'm going right into this area where that in route is going to go, as you can see. Okay. At this point, now he recognizes that I'm the shallow hook curl. So he knows he needs to be the deep hook curl. And as you can see, he takes that crosser perfectly across the formation. Okay. Now we're going to throw some variables in here just to try to kind of change it up a little bit and kind of explain this as best as we can. So again, I want to show you that concept one more time, except this time we're going to put the running back on a little flat route to the, to the left side. Again, I'm standing right here at the snap of the ball. I'm going right in here and I'm trying to stay right there. And as you can see, that time worked pretty well. Again, what you want to do with your user, and you can, if you want to, go ahead and feel free to man him up on the circle receiver. That's like the ultimate way of doing this. It actually is very helpful uh, in this in this defense in particular because you'll notice when I'm manned up on him, I don't typically get that. You see right there, it's going to work perfectly every single time. So if you're going to leave at least three to four people blitzing, to me, that's the best way to do it because um, then you're not going to have to worry about the run. You're still not going to get weak box, and you're going to kind of guarantee because the biggest problem is 100% the circle receiver, okay, 100% the circle receiver. So, um, again, let me show you it again here. I'm going to man my guy up on him. You'll see I'm just staying low, and as you can see, plays it fairly well, okay. So, obviously, not very many people would run a route combination that's going to put that running back on a curl. So, just to illustrate that this time, uh, we're not going to have that running back go on a route. So you see here, it's kind of like this. If you want to spotlight him, you can. But just kind of stay low. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. And as you can see, that time it didn't work quite like we wanted it to. Now, another thing that you're going to see real quick, and we're going to kind of close it down here. Another thing you're going to see really quickly that's really important is they're going to do a lot of this. They're going to motion this guy out like so. Okay? When they motion this guy out, it's not as big of a challenge. Because you're going to see here, I've got a lot more space at which I can come underneath him. So it's going to give that, that safety more time to get back on that ball. Now, another thing that I really quickly want to recommend to you with the safety is if you're going to bring him down, make sure you have him kind of in that area right there. Because you want him to drop into the vertical area. That's, all the, that's kind of the trick of the trade here. So, again, this time I'm going to put the running back on a little route to the outside. Motion this guy to the outside like so. And then kind of, again, keep him as low as possible. And the idea is that that safety will then go up to the vertical uh, to the vertical crossing route is really the, the idea, okay? 
Now, let's say you get something like, like this, where you get verticals. And sometimes, honestly, um, it's kind of a practice mode thing, I will say. It is a little finicky. It's a lot better in game because you're going to have better ratings, uh, typically. But like here, you see, I'm going to come down, come down, come down. As you see, he matches onto that really well. And you see the defense plays it fairly effectively uh, for what we're trying to accomplish. So uh, to me, this is one of the best little tricks that you can do if you're looking to if you're looking to try to try to stop the, the gun bunch verticals. Uh, to me, this is one of the best plays you can call. Again, if you want to, you can bring this guy like kind of down in here, uh, and then and you'll be surprised at how well um, this will guard the vertical route. So again, here you see he'll rise up. That time he actually stays down a little bit. Um, but anyways, I would really encourage you to try and test this play out. Uh, this is something that I've been labbing recently uh, that has helped me very much. So in the ebook, we show a lot of different ways at which you could stop this verticals play. But I will say that when you get that to match properly on that, you are going to find that you're going to get so many interceptions because people are just going to try to force feed that crosser and they're going to throw right into a match concept where you've got them bagged. So I would really encourage you mess around with this cover three buzz match. If you want to learn the whole nickel normal uh, scheme, heavy match coverage defense, but I've also got a lot of stuff in there. We literally walk you through uh, principles for every formation in the game. We cover trips tied in, U trips, bunch, tight compression sets, uh, standard trip sets, spread sets any offense that you can imagine we've got defense for it in this nickel normal this nickel normal has been something i've been working on for several months now so if you want to learn the entire defense make sure you're in the patreon by joining the patreon you're not only going to get access to this ebook but you're going to get access to every ebook that i've released in the madden 22 season so thanks for watching this video and if you want to check out that ebook there's a link in the description below just click that link and uh, you can go check out that patreon membership